Jason King. Hello, Miami. How's everybody doing today? Are you guys awake? Come on, give it up, guys. So this is my favorite conference of the whole year. I don't know if you guys know this, but this is the, this is the fifth year of, of the North American Bitcoin Conference here, and I've had the pleasure of speaking at all five of them. Um, this is me last year here uh, at the James L. Knight Center, and um, had a different mood, right? I mean, there was a lot of momentum last year. Everybody was really excited. There were, were a few more of us here than there are right now. So this is me talking about um, how much more money we had raised in 2017 than we'd raised in 2016. But you know, if you start talking to people today, you know, we have a little different sentiment. It looks a little bit more like this. This is what people's talking about here. It's like we're in this bear market right now. The market's down. Some people are sad. But it's important to recognize that there's more to blockchain than just the price of cryptocurrency. And there's actually a whole lot more. So in 2018, in this bear year, we raised $15 billion more as an industry than we did the year before. We had over 8x more investments um, from VC firms in 2018. So just remember that Rome wasn't built in a day. You know, this is a long slog. We're, we're here for the long-term vision of what this blockchain technology can do. So try not to get bogged down in the day-to-day -day price movements of cryptocurrencies. Because as I'll show you, there's a lot of stuff that's going on in 2018 and beyond that's really showing that this is actually still a, a very high growth industry. So we had a lot of progress from uh, global governments that have actually now given us a good regulatory framework for blockchain companies to come in and actually build out their industries with some clarity moving forward. Places like Australia, Bermuda, Malta, Mauritius, and even Singapore, which is a major powerhouse um, for worldwide financial centers. And our, our company, Kingsland University, um, we're based here in the United States. We are the only US accredited school for blockchain development. And we've made partners with most of these governments in terms of providing education in those markets. 2018 was the year the large-scale enterprise moved into blockchain. Amazon, Google, IBM, Facebook, all now have dedicated blockchain teams. And they didn't wind them down when the price of Bitcoin crashed. They actually sped them up. They actually are expanding these teams. And all the major top financial um, institutions now have skin in the game. They all have R&D departments dedicated to blockchain. You know, when this conference started in 2014, the idea that UBS, Citi, NASDAQ, Visa would have these massive dedicated blockchain teams was, it was unfathomable or unfathomable. I don't think unfathomable is a word. Um, so it's important to remember that regardless of the crypto price, blockchain has velocity and we're continuing to grow and we're continuing to grow at a very rapid pace. And so the quality of blockchain education is critically needed more than ever. The highlight of my presentation last year, sort of the, the buzzword that caught everybody, was this statistic that we had that there were 14 available jobs for a blockchain developer for every qualified blockchain developer that existed on the face of the earth. So if you had one developer, there were 14 available jobs out there for him. Well, in 2018, guess what? There are 10 times more blockchain jobs out there in 2018 than there were in 2017. So this, this chasm has actually grown significantly because there's a lot more industry uh, interest in blockchain now. So this becomes much more important for us for continuing to be able to grow, to have sustainability, and to have the people that are actually capable of understanding blockchain and building out on these projects that have such promise to help move humanity forward. So this is what we do. Kingsland solves this issue with award-winning blockchain courses. So we basically split into two sides. We have technical training. We have award-winning uh, developer training where we can teach existing, existing software developers and train them up on blockchain best practices. And we've also moved into the executive education front. So getting all of the upper-level management and C-suite where they have a, a solid critical grasp of blockchain. So what did we do in 2018? We announced um, that we were going to be doing Kingsland School of Blockchain at this conference last year, and we actually started our, our very first technical training course the week after Blockchain 2018. So this is our year in review for Kingsland. So we've developed three types of courses. We've de developed blockchain engineering, four to six week programs that are geared towards taking software developers and training them into blockchain developers. 
And we've done executive educations now, and we have also done corporate trainings, which is staffing, you know, training your existing staff up and getting them familiar with blockchain technology. We ran courses in 2018 in six countries, in the United States, Korea, Mexico, Singapore, Bulgaria, and the Philippines. We started the Kingsland Innovation Center, which is blockchain developer outstaffing. So your company needs blockchain technology built, but maybe you're not in a position to hire blockchain developers. Well, we were so happy with the quality of our graduates that we actually started hiring them and putting them on staff and using them as, as consultants to outstaff out and build out blockchain technology. So we started Kingston Innovation Center last year. Our company, uh, Kingston University, has been on lots of steering committees um, for industry standards in, in education and blockchain technology. Um, my partner, John Souza, who's here in the room, is on the steering committee for CompTIA. CompTIA is the largest technical certifications um, organization in the world, and John's on the blockchain steering committee for that. Um, we're part of the ADC Blockchain Forum Steering Committee in Australia. We participate in the World Economic Forum in Davos, and we've um, been in the talks with the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, the OECD, in Paris as well. We've also evolved our training. When we started our experiment with, with teaching existing software developers blockchain technologies, we were pretty confident that we needed to do it in an immersive environment. Put a software developer in a room four to six weeks and drill blockchain into them. Um, while that works very well, but we've kind of modified it. We've actually figured out a way to do it in a, in a less intrusive manner. So if you are a professional software developer, you don't have to take six weeks out of your life to come learn blockchain. You can learn, learn it in an immersive environment or in a modular environment where you'll come in for a few days and then have two weeks of work at home and then take five or six modules to learn the same amount of time. So it's less intrusive for that. And then we also have um, various hybrids of the, of the two where you'll do a longer portion in, um, in person and then you'll, with a lot of material at home as well. And we are also started our uh, foray into online learning. So you'll actually be able to take these courses from uh, the comfort of your own home. And uh, we'll be doing remote courses. So when we launch a class live, people from all around the world will actually be able to log in and participate in that class right along with that, that immersive class that's doing it in person. We had a very important um, partnership with Shios. It was a partnership um, with a EOS block producer to specifically train girls in blockchain technology and software development. Um, so we did that last year. It was wonderful. Uh, we managed to, to train uh, several hundred uh, women in uh, blockchain development and software development. And our programs, our, um, our blockchain technical training courses were certified by the Singaporean government. So um, to date, Kingsland University is the only organization worldwide that has blockchain training that is both accredited in the United States, but now also certified in Singapore. And we're the only company that's certified in Singapore as well. So that was 2018. What do we have to look forward to in 2019? One of the big questions that we get is the fact that we're a US institution. We haven't run a whole lot of training in the US in 2018. Well, that changes in 2019. We're bringing blockchain technical courses to Orlando, New York, San Francisco, and Los Angeles here. And we're gonna be running them several times a year in most major markets in the United States. We'll also be running them all around the world. Mexico City, Ilo Ilo, Singapore, Seoul, Adelaide, Mauritius, Bermuda, and a lot more. Um, the need for this and the demand for blockchain technical training is massive. It actually has been more than we've been able to handle. We've been kind of drinking from the fire hose for it. 2019 is the year where we actually have the infrastructure to scale up and start teaching this on a, on a much wider um, level. Yesterday, we actually ran our very first executive education, or, or I should say it completed. It was a two-day program that ran for the past two days. Um, World-winning futurist and technologist Alex Lightman um, has been leading our executive, education um, our executive education development, and he ran a very successful class here. We had a, a full class. It was just taught downstairs here in this same building. And we had um, some of the best course feedback that I've ever seen from any class, not any blockchain class, but any class. So it's a really great way for executives, senior management, to get a very high level understanding of how blockchain works on a very, down to a very granular level. One of the things that's really interesting from the class is that most of the people in the class rated themselves as a nine or a 10 in familiarity with blockchain before taking it. 
but everyone learned a lot. And that was a constant feedback was, wow, I really thought I already understood this, but I learned so much today. So we'll be running that all in the United States and all around the world as well. So that's gonna be great. We're announcing now that we have finished our um, development of EOS protocol specific curriculum. So if anyone is now looking to get trained up on the EOS blockchain, come to us. I think we're pretty much the only game in town, but we would happily train your existing software developer or your ETH developer on how to, uh, to learn um, to function on the EOS blockchain. So we have a blockchain development impact program. So like I said, we've been hiring some of our students out of our own classes, and some of those students are in developing worlds. Um, so what we've done is, blockchain developers are expensive. The, the average salary worldwide for a blockchain developer is $163,000. But one of the reasons that we wanted to create more software developer and blockchain developers is that we wanted to make sure companies that are trying to do social impact on the blockchain have access to more developers. So um, at Kingsland Innovation Center, we have a social impact program. So if your company is building something for social impact, um, we can get you a great deal on getting um, developers remotely from third world countries and developing nations at a drastically reduced cost. Still great developers, but whereas you might be spending $12,000 a month on a software developer, if you qualify for our, our social uh, innovation um, program, you might be spending 3,000 as opposed to 12,000. So it's really a great way to get qualified blockchain developers into uh, the hands of, of companies that are trying to do social good. So we launched Kingsland Coders, um, which is our K through 12 program. So it's really high quality content that's um, geared towards teaching uh, software development to the K through 12. And we're happy to announce here that um, we just won an RFP with the government of Bermuda, that we will be teaching all public school children in the country of Bermuda will be learning software development directly through us. It's about 4,500 kids. And we'll also be doing technical training and executive education on the blockchain side as well. This is pretty much a big one here, is that um, Charles Hoskinson uh, spoke about this at Plutus Fest last, last month. But we are partnering with Cardano and uh, IOHK to train 10,000 developers on uh, Card Cardano smart contracting in 2019. We're really excited to be working with these guys. Um, Cardano is a very, very innovative company. I think that functional programming is going to have a huge impact on the blockchain industry. And IOHK is way out in front in terms of their development of functional programming for blockchain. Now, I've spoken at every one of these conferences, the North American Bitcoin Conference. Um, and so five years ago at the first one of these, I did something called Bitcoin Across America, where I actually physically ran from Miami, Florida here to San Francisco, California to raise awareness for Bitcoin and to raise money for a homeless charity that I started called Sean's Outpost. So here, thank you. So here in 2019, on the five-year anniversary of that and uh, my impending midlife crisis of turning 40 this year, um, I'm announcing blockchain across America. In March of this year, I'm going to run from Miami, Florida to Santa Monica, California um, to raise awareness for, uh, for blockchain and to promote blockchain education. So um, one of the cornerstones of that effort is going to be that we have now pledged $10 million in scholarships for blockchain education. And we'll be um, stopping at basically whistle stops while I'm running across the country, uh, having community meetups and giving out scholarships to uh, qualified individuals and interested parties. So if anybody's interested in that, if anybody's interested in helping sponsor that or supporting it or, or wants to match funds as part of this $10 million, we'd really like to get those funds out there and get a lot more people into learning about blockchain, both on a technical and an executive side. So, in conclusion, uh, we're the only scalable solution for the blockchain ecosystem when it comes to education. Nobody has developers, we make developers. We're literally a, an engine for creating blockchain developers. And we are truly the only full service solution in blockchain for any of your needs for business development or education. Um, our goal is to work with talented engineers, regional partners, and companies who need blockchain developers, and companies who need to train their staff. So if any of that pertains to you or your company, please come see us. We have a large booth right by the front door, Kingsland University. And thank you guys for your time. Jason King, ladies and gentlemen.